Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another short little quick math related video. And what I wanted to do in this video is sort of address something that we've talked about uh, previously back in 2011, 2012. I put out a couple of videos and wrote an article basically talking about why mathematics is important to us individually culturally socially basically mentioning that mathematics is really just human evolution us coming up with a language to try to understand the world around us right and those videos and that article is basically related to the most common two most common questions i've gotten in my life in the last couple of decades of teaching mathematics is um, which are basically one of the ones being you know what am i going to use this in the real world and the other one being is uh, why is math important right they're sort of the same question because one connects up with the other right but they're basically two of the most common without a you know without a doubt uh comments that i've gotten from students and they're they're basically directed at me as comments. They're not really questions, right? Because people have already made up their minds regarding mathematics if they're uh, trying to learn it, if they're having a hard time with it, and they think mathematics is magic, right? They make these, these questions, turn these questions into statements, sort of dismissing mathematics, saying, what am I gonna use this in the weird world? Or why is this important, right? So we put out those two videos one of them was basically me laying out you know just picked five points and i sort of go through five points of why math is important the other video um, i think that video came out in 2011 the other video which came out a year later i believe in 2012 uh, that i released was sort of me going off on a rant mentioning that mathematics is part of human evolution and it's an innate ability that we have right that we're able to use to try to understand the world around us okay so building up on that i wanted to sort of take this opportunity to remind people why math is important and where we end up using mathematics in the real world right and the quick the quick answer to where we end up using mathematics in the real world is everywhere right and why is math important because we use mathematics everywhere right that's the general theme of this right but since we've been doing a fair bit of number crunching related to one of the uh, events that's taking place in the world right now specifically related to COVID-19 right we've been crunching some of the numbers tabulating some of the numbers creating some charts with the numbers I thought I'd take this opportunity to remind people how mathematics can be important in the real world right and um, I'll provide a link in the description of this video to the table and the charts that we've posted on our Patreon page, which where we've been doing the uh, crunching the numbers. And I'll post a link in the description of this video to the playlist that we have regarding COVID-19, the coronavirus, right? But basically what we've been doing is uh, taking a look at this table and creating some charts and stuff. And one place, that mathematics really helps us out individually right community wise as well socially as well based on countries companies everything but for us individually why math is important and how we end up using it in the real world we can find out by just pointing out one thing that we discovered by crunching these numbers regarding COVID-19 right and there's a lot more because you can take a look at those videos where we where we went through those charts went through the table and try to understand what the data is telling us right but just to go a little bit deeper than that and just point out one other thing we found out regarding this data set now if you take a look at that table in the one two three four five six seven eight nine ten in the eleventh column we have data related to the fatality rate for COVID-19, right? And initially the fatality rate that uh, the World Health Organization and other organizations were mentioning, uh, they were quoting, was basically that the 
CFR, the confirmed fatality rate, was around two, two and a half percent, right? Now, we started tabulating this data, started creating graphs, and started taking a look at the fatality rate plus some of the other metrics as well, right? And what we noticed with the fatality rate started getting the data for it from January 31st, right? Because the this uh, COVID-19 really caught the world by surprise. So the data was fairly sparse at the beginning, right? And now we're getting a fair bit of data. So we're going to do a lot more data crunching on this. But basically from January 31st, for our data set, we started calculating what the fatality rate was, right? And at that time, we we're getting a fatality rate of 2.8%, 2.1%, 2%, 2.14% 2 or so. So it was confirming what the World Health Organization and other, other organizations were telling us what the fatality rate was, right? But then one thing we noticed, as the days progressed, by February 11th, 12th, 13th, we start seeing the fatality rate kick up, where by February, around 19th and 20th, we hit, hit the fatality rate of around 3%, right? And the fatality rate kept on going up, kept on going up, and right now, the fatality rate is sitting around 3, 3 3.4, 3.5%, right? So back in February 20th, based on our number crunching, we found out that the fatality rate was kicking above 3%. At that time, however, the World Health Organization and other organizations were still quoting the 2, 2.5%. It was mainly 2% that they were referencing that the fatality rate was around 2%. Now, these progressed and based on our calculations by the end of february february 29th we had already hit actually by february 25th we had already hit 24th 25th we had already hit 3.4 percent fatality rate while the rest of the world the world health organization and other organizations were still quoting the two two and a half percent fatality rate right now what happened was in march 3rd the World Health Organization came out and reevaluated their numbers and confirmed what we already knew was that the fatality rate was 3.4%. Okay. So for us, crunching the numbers, using mathematics, trying to understand what the data is telling us, we knew that the fatality rate was moving up and was hitting around 3.4% well over a week before the World Health Organization came out and confirmed those numbers, right? So we knew anywhere between a week to two weeks that the fatality rate was kicking up and things weren't looking as rosy as what was being stated by these central institutions, right? That is a perfect example of how we can use mathematics in the real world and why math is important to us individually, right? Because if something like this is happening and we have access to the data and hopefully it becomes open source data and it is to a certain degree where we can grab the numbers and start crunching the numbers, right? We could have done a little bit more prep individually right and we did we talked about this during our live streams during the videos and we did mention and we did talk about it with our community on twitch as well as our community on pitchute and youtube that the data was starting to look more problematic right so we knew anywhere between 10 to two weeks ahead of time that the fatality rate was higher than the general population why because we were crunching the numbers okay and this is just one simple example as to why math is important okay and where we can end up using mathematics in the real world now keep in mind this type of data crunching this type of simple 
analysis where we tabulate the data and create charts and graphs and get a visual for the data to try to better understand what the metrics are, what the, what the driving force is for a system we may be studying, we're not going to just use it. You know, this isn't an isolated case where we just ended up using this for, to figure out what was going on with COVID-19 and use it to our advantage to be ahead of the game a little bit, ahead of the curve a little bit, right? You can use what we did in any system you're trying to analyze, in any system you're trying to understand. May it be related to economics, the stock market, your own personal finances, your company, how you're going to manage your life, right? In this case, knowing that the mortality rate, the fatality rate has gone up one, one and a half percent, right? Relative to what the consensus was a week to two weeks ahead of time was pretty advantageous to us, right? And it is a big deal because that's a serious kick up in percentages, right? So what we're gonna do, continue to do regarding data specifically for COVID-19 and coronavirus, we're gonna continue to crunch these numbers and take a look at them on a monthly basis and do live streams and talk about what's taking place, right? Outside of this, related to the content that we're creating on our channel, we're gonna to continue to do mathematics. We're gonna to continue to look at different systems. May they be related to economics? May they be related to health? May they be related to investing, personal finance, comic books, food and farming, right? Mathematics of, of art and design, right? Take a look at the mathematics of physics, chemistry, biology. We're gonna to continue to layer this work, right? sort of have a mathematics as the base foundation of everything that we're building on, right? I just wanted to share that little bit of extra information that we're getting from the table, the number crunching that we've been doing. And just to address why math is important and where we end up using mathematics in the real world, okay? I hope you find this useful and if you do, appreciate the work that we're doing here you do support this content you do like the work that's being put out right and uh, you want to help this project supporting this work through patreon is a fantastic way to make sure that we're able to create content on a more regular basis and start bringing a lot of the concepts that we've created so far through the 13 plus years we've been on youtube as well as the last few years been on different platforms bring all that information together and link everything up and create a lot more of the content we need to start putting out math modules and whatnot and of course by sharing liking uh, commenting interacting with us uh, through the live streams or through some of the other platforms that we're active on is a fantastic way to support this work as well right uh, aside from that, uh, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I hope you have a fantastic week, month, years to come. And we will be here con to uh, continue to produce work the way we've been doing for the last 13 years or so. And if you get, again, if you do appreciate this work, if you do like this work, supporting this work through Patreon is a fantastic way to help us uh, continue this work for the next 10, 15, 20 years to come. Okay. Aside from that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.